Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs, and today I'm going to introduce you to our new input output modules, uh, which are usable as well for our uh, development system Modulino or the uh, its brother, the ESM32, as well as for any other development systems. Uh, in case you have a 10-pin ten, ten uh, pin header. Um, it consists of a, an optocoppler module with four isolated inputs. Uh, we have a, a power driver module with a, um, with a Darlington driver, ULN 2803A, which can drive either eight uh, outputs separately, or it can be combined with one or two of these uh, four relay modules and I'll show you how to connect it. It's all open source. Uh, all the schematics and the wiring diagrams are available for download. I'll give you the link in the comments and you also can look it up in our shop. And uh, let's start with the uh, optocoppler module. Now it is uh, connected um, as, as you might have, as you might remember, we have from our development system, we have all 8-bit output ports here on identical 10-pin uh, pin, pin headers where you have the eight uh, output pins as well as ground and uh, VCC, which is here uh, 5 volts. And you can connect each module to each of the uh, eight um, output ports. Now let's choose for example this one. And uh, the optocopier, optocoppler module is uh, quickly explained. It consists of an IC which is four optocouplers uh, inside. And here you have the uh, galvanically isolated uh, inputs. It can be uh, driven from any voltage source between uh, 5 volts, uh, 3 volts and 24 volts. So whenever you put a positive voltage and a, a return current or ground connection to one of the pin terminals, um, uh, the uh, open collector output of the um, of the optocoppler will switch on. There's one thing uh, to remember. Uh, we have um, integrated uh, current limiting resistors, so you don't have to uh, supply uh, any current limiting resistor at the input. But there's one thing you should know. Uh, we have, uh, although they, these are uh, open collector outputs, we did not provide any pull-up resistors here at the output. Uh, to make it uh, universal, uh, if you connect it to an 80 mega or any other uh, microcontroller uh, that has internal pull-ups, uh, you can use the internal pull-ups uh, of the outputs uh, just to pull the open collector output high. And as you uh, uh, might know, uh, if you have a positive signal here on one of the inputs, we switch, it switches an L internal LED on, and uh, opposite to the LED is a phototransistor. And now when the phototransistor turns on, the open collector output will pull the output to ground, and that means you have a reversed behavior a, a positive uh, input signal on the input will pull the uh, input pin of your microcontroller low. So a high, let's say a high on the input gives a low on the microcontroller pin. So, and uh, there's one uh, other little uh, trick. Uh, as you might see, we have two pin headers here or two box connectors. And um, we only use four of the, um, of the inputs, uh, although eight are present. Now you can connect a second optocoppler module via the 
out connector number one you just uh, take a second ribbon cable and connector and connect it to a second optocoupler module so you can add one port at one 8-bit port of your microcontroller uh, you can um, use two of the um, input modules in series uh, one of them will um, use the pins uh, 0 to 3 and the, the second connected in series or daisy chained will use pins 4 to 7. So quite nice, you usually you often only need uh, 4 or less uh, inputs, then one of the modules is enough. If you need all 8 inputs uh, galvanically isolated via the optocouplers, you just daisy chain two of the modules and only need one connection to one 8-bit port. So that was the explanation how the uh, opto input module works and now let's take a look at how the output modules work. So <clears throat> the basic output uh, driver is a ULN 2803A that's an 8-port uh, Darlington array uh, it can switch uh, currents up to 500 millivolts and voltages, external voltages up to 50 volts. You connect the uh, external voltage here, although it's designated plus 12 volt, you can use any voltage between 5 volt and uh, 50 volts. Uh, it has internal clamping diodes, so also relays or any other inductive uh, or capacitive loads can be switched without damaging uh, the chip. Um, I'll make a separate tutorial about what to watch out for when using the uh, ULN 2803A and what other alternatives are there, because this, for example, is a so-called low-side driver. There are also high-side drivers available in the same pin package. Um, so you connect it via the same 10-pin uh, ribbon cable to your 8-bit um, port of your microcontroller. Um, then here you see an 8-pin uh, uh, pin header um, with uh, jumpers. Uh, that's because uh, you sometimes uh, connected to a module where the uh, other, where you only need four of the outputs and the others uh, shall not be connected to your ULN 2803 driver chip. Uh, so you can set as many between zero and eight, as many uh, ports connected to the output uh, driver. And then you can see uh, there are two ports going um, out from, from the little PCB and one with a special crossed cable and one with a straight cable. And uh, of course you can uh, connect uh, any load um, you want to, uh, to uh, the outputs, uh, but uh, these four or uh, these two um, ports uh, have a special meaning when connecting them to our relay modules with four uh, relays with uh, switchover contacts. Um, I'll explain this in the next step, but be aware of that although the uh, Darlington driver chip can supply up to 500 milliamps peak, that is not available with all eight outputs switched on simultaneously. So this 500 milliamps limitation uh, is for either only switching one port on at the same time or uh, when you are using them in PWM mode uh, then with a uh, PWM ratio or duty cycle of uh, 1 to 8. Uh, that is the limitation of the 500 milliamps. So please do not connect uh, eight loads with each uh, 500 milliamps on the outputs and turn all the outputs on simultaneously. Um, but 
as I already told you, I'll make a tutorial about these uh, Darlington driver chips. And there is again another thing you should uh, watch out for uh, because as well as the optocoupler inputs, uh, these Darlington drivers have a kind of reversed logic because of their open collector output. That means if you um, put an output pin of your controller to the on state, to a 1, uh, then the uh, Darlington uh, transistors will switch on and pull your load to ground. And um, you, you should know this, that the outputs then become low usually your load will then be switched on, but the output is low. So if you uh, use this chip uh, as a kind of logic driver and not to drive loads, uh, then the polarity between input and output is reversed. So now let's take a look at the relay module and how we connect one or two of them to uh, the output driver module. So before we connect the relay module, let's first take a look at what's on board. Uh, the first thing you might notice, there's a little jumper which can switch between uh, the center pin, which is the power pin of the relay coil, either to ground or to, it's here designated as plus 12 volt or a VCC. Uh, that's because if you're using this uh, PCB for your own purposes and not in combination with uh, our uh, output driver module, then uh, you can select which polarity the coil of your, um, of your uh, relays are having. And of course, uh, the relays are not uh, limited to 12 volt coils. We supply two uh, variations of this uh, PCB either with 5 volt relays or as you can see here with 12 volt relays and they are rated for uh, 6 or 8 uh, amps and can switch mains voltage but I have a separate tutorial uh, what the limitations are what you have to watch out for especially when switching inductive loads like motors uh, or capacitive loads uh, then you can not uh, expect that 8 am amps are uh, switched safely with inductive or capacitive loads. Um, as you can see, it are switch over contacts. Um, the, uh, the switch is here seen in the normally closed uh, state, which is when it's uh, not, when the relay coil is not energized. And so you have a normally open and a normally closed um, connection at each uh, output of the relays. And uh, we have our standard 10 pin pin header. And now there are two ways how you can connect uh, the relay module. Um, you either uh, use it with this uh, straight cable uh, connected to the um, output driver module, which I uh, explained just a minute ago. And in this configuration, um, the uh, pins, uh, the, the, um, uh, your output pins from your microcontroller, uh, 0 to 3 are used for the relays uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you can see, we have a second output connection here with a special crossed cable and here you can um, uh, here you can connect a second relay module and this has then the uh, output ports uh, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So you again as with the optocoupler module where you also can daisy chain uh, two modules uh, to one 8-bit port, the same is true uh, for our output and relay modules, uh, you can uh, use one 8-bit port and uh, if you only want to use uh, four relay outputs, uh, you make the connection as seen here. Uh, you can e even select if you want um, the output pins uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, depending on which cable you use, or you can uh, connect a second module, 
second relay module to the same 8-bit output driver chi uh, chip driver uh, chip and uh, then have all eight uh, output pins of your microcontroller with eight relays in total. So uh, that was it for a short introduction as I already told you all the schematics and the PCB layout are available as a download so you can uh, see how the connections are made and um, it's not only uh, usable for our uh, Modulino or ESM32 development boards um, because of the standard connections uh, you can use it with uh, ever system uh, you like and I think they are quite in universal and orphan uh, that's exactly what you need when developing a system that you need some uh, power outputs or some isolated uh, digital inputs. So that was it for today for a short introduction of a new uh, product in our shop for microcontroller development systems. And uh, I say goodbye until next time. Hope you liked it. Bye from Kanka Labs. Bye from Roger.